Today's secret is about all these beaker flasks. We have the 0.5 liter, 1.5 liter and the 4 liter. The advantage of all of these beaker flasks is that you can actually very easily open them and reach in with your hand. Now I would like to show you how easy it is to open this beaker flask. You simply hold it here, you push it down, you turn, you take it off and that's it. You can now easily reach into the flask. To close it, same procedure, you push and turn and that's it. So in order to remove or add difficult substances, you don't need to push them through the jo normal joint, but you can just simply put them in and get them out again. I would like to talk about the individual beaker flasks now. The first beaker flask I would like to talk about is the 0.5 liter beaker flask. It's basically a very nice one, a little, little one, easy to handle. So how to open it is exactly the same as I showed before. You just push and then open it like this. And closing is exactly the same. Very, very simple. It can be filled up to this level, to the maximum level. And we have it in two different uh, variants. One is without and one is with the notches. And the notches, they're used for drying. So the powder or whatever is in the flask will then jump over these notches basically and should not stick to the wall as much. This is the 1.5 liter range. We have three different ones. The first one is the standard one. Second one again with the drying notches over here. And the third one is actually quite special. It has a round bottom. So the same actually as a normal flask would have. What's the advantage of this one? You can very easily put this into a dishwasher, for example. So we use this a lot for all the uh, bars, etc., where we have rotor vapors in. Very easy to wash. Last but not least, the four liter beaker flask. The one thing you have to take care of is that you don't go beyond the three kilos brutal weight. So that's it about the beaker flasks. My personal favorite is the four liter one. Just enough volume and looks great. Works fantastic on the R300.